to intend to use in uh, crafting or coming up with a negotiation framework with uh, the Deputy President uh, William Ruto. So <coughs> we want to state that uh, uh, Kenyans are a progressive and working democratic and peace loving people. The, citizen, the citizens we represent from Central Kenya and its diaspora are an enterprising, patriotic, and working community that has sons and daughters who hustle their way to establish some of the most successful enterprises in the Republic. Our region and its diaspora is not only bestowed with these enterprising people, but is also the most productive in revenue generation to government while also supporting millions of livelihoods across the region. We, however, note that through systematic government actions, mostly designed to one's private enterprise gain, our people have been impoverished, millions of livelihoods destroyed. Many of our traders and business people have deliberately been driven into poverty through government policies coupled with, with unprecedented high underness. Our people have never felt and been this impoverished since pre-colonial Kenya. From our dairy farmers, mira, rice, dengu, potatoes, maize, oticatro, pyrethrum, avocado, macadamia, tea and coffee farmers, to our traders and industrialists, have all suffered immensely under the supervised hands of monopolistic cartels, an unfair business environment, and business insensitive directives from this government. Our business community has literally been wiped out of business. Our individual and communal enterprise defiled and by a system largely driven by contempt coupled with a strong sense of entitlement. From downtown Yamakima's imports and export trenders who want hopes of government support to grow their import businesses into cottage industries, learning from the countries they have imported them from, to become later-day manufacturers, have been left to watch in dismay, sheer anguish, pain, as their lifetime savings, capital borrowed from banks, went up in flames under the guise of their imports being declared counterfeits. Today, they shed burning bitter tears of pain as banks auction their properties, acres of newspaper advertisements of these property auctions bear us witness. May we in there mention that again the very same banks auctioning them have been driven by government policy to lend at high interest rates as government crowned private enterprise from the credit market. This policy is and has been deliberate as it benefits a few. The bank owners, needless to say, at the expense of our struggling population. This is in contrast to the Kebake regime, and I quote and repeat, is in contrast to the Kebake's regime, the liberty policy that reduced the government domestic borrowing, leaving banks to hawk cheap loans at every street corner injecting cash flow into the economy and driving economic growth. Our industrialists, trenders and business owners have their businesses rendered and shut down by state police while others have literally been frustrated out of business by state agencies. To end insult to injury, the brute force of state police has been deployed to supervise the wanton destruction of homes and businesses painstakingly built from lifetime savings of ordinary people, majority of them from central Kenya, shattering their lives and dreams and effectively rendering, rendering them destitute in their homeland. The lease and the accompanying pain by our people is unmatched in the history of a young nation. This has been so despite the government being in our hands, with the most powerful offices being held by men and women from our region. The need of economic recovery, because this is the agenda 
that we are trying to build up for negotiation. It is this sad state of affairs that necessitated the coming together of the 62 elected leaders from our region. Last week, seeking to re-engineer the model of engagement by our region's leaders with others as we seek to restore our nation's economy back to the trajectory that President Kibaki left it at. In our meeting last week, we discussed and resolved to open formal negotiations with Dr. William Muruto, who majority of our constituents identify with as their candidate of choice and one whom they trust to carry the aspirations of economic recovery and growth of free enterprise, while also appreciating that the economic recovery agenda will transcend the current administration. I now invite my sister. Uh, Is the the strategies and the, to deal with the issues that uh, have been read out by my brother here, we will need to put in place a negotiation framework and therefore I proceed from there. As agreed amongst ourselves, the negotiations will be divided into two parts. Part one is the economic agenda of the 11 counties and part two is the region's political interest. We also agreed to set up committees with representatives from each county to steer the discussions which we intend to be centered around the, our citizens' issues and aspirations. We want to change the matrix of engagement from one of negotiating purely for political positions that benefit a few political leaders to one that is participatory, citizens-driven, begins with and anchored on the empowerment of the people and their aspirations. We want a candidate engagement with the candidate on with the candidate that is presidential candidate on matters of economic recovery and measures will take place to re and the measures that they will t he will take place he, he will no the measures that will take place to restore our polit uh, our people's economic power and create jobs for our young people. Our discussion will be centered around job creation, enterprise development, business support, incorporating the transition from imports to cottage industries, and onward manufacturing. Onward to manufacturing. This will also largely include agricultural support for farmers, focusing on value addition, agro-processing, and guaranteed minimum return as well as the dismantling of monopolies and cartels that have held farmers captive, actually from independence. We will also engage on the country's trade and foreign policy to kickstart negotiations for the reopening and expansion of our horticulture and mirror markets in the UK, Somalia and other European countries. You know this is uh, a particular commodity that is grown in the uh, eastern region, particularly Meru and Taraka, and also <coughs> Embu. This will, yeah, this will subsequently be followed by a discussion on our region's political participation in the implementation of the agreed programs and intervention as well as the overall governance of the country. With this in mind, and having been mandated by the larger team, and I mean this particular team before you, having been mandated by the larger team, we have held two meetings and drawn up on an engagement and negotiation framework that will incorporate economists and other professionals for our region of, and from our region, business and religious leaders, including the youth, Hasra Nation representatives from all different sectors of our economy, from Mamaboga, Jamawa Boda, creative industry, and artisans. The list is long. We have mandated the committees formed to proceed. And these committees are led by uh, elected members of parliament and nominated members and initiate programs that we shall be announcing, which will include, but not limited to, webinar country forums, limited by the crowd uh, the COVID uh, protocols, we shall observe COVID protocols as we engage. We will not wait for COVID to finish, but we will engage using uh, COVID protocols for guidance. Sectoral reforms, 
and county specific public engagements post COVID also uh, lockdown period. We shall soon be inviting professionals from our region and other areas actually countrywide to register for the program of activities that we shall be announcing, not today, but going forward. And not very far, very soon. We have also, we have also sought an appointment with His Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, to discuss and agree on our proposed framework of negotiations towards economic recovery and democratic governance of our nation as a priority for the team. We as elected representatives of the people of this republic commit to pursue this agenda with the dedication, focus and energy required to the best interest of the people that elected us and we represent and in the best interest of the whole Kenyan nation. We will keep you appraised of further developments and or announcements as we move forward. God bless you all. God bless Kenya. Thank you very much. Mweshimua Angirishi kutoka Kirinyaga. Yakuwa kando na wa Kenya wengi kuwa watu ambao ni watu wa tendakazi wa BD na watu ambao wanazingatia maendeleo yao. Sisi kama viongozi kutoka mlima Kenya tuluweza kukutana wiki iliyopita na tukaweza kuzingatia zile shida zote zimewakumba wakazi wa maeneo ambayo tunawakilisha bungeni kama viongozi yakiwemo mashida ya ukulima wa kazi ya ukulima kuwa haina faida kwa mkulima sababu kuna cartels tulivyosema ambazo wamefanya biashara ya ukulima ni ya kuwasaidia wao na biashara zao peke yao ikaja kuwa mpaka wafanyikazi ambao walikuwa nafanya kazi ya biashara ndogo ndogo kama wale tuliyotaja kule nyama kima waliweza kuchomewa mali yao wakaweza kufungiwa mabiashara zao tumeona matendo ambayo yanazingatiwa na serikali yetu ambayo yamekuwa ni ya kuwafinyilia wananchi hasa wananchi ambao wanatoka eneo la mlima Kenya ambako tunatoka na area zetu za diaspora mali watu wetu wanaishi Tumeona ubomozi wa manyumba hasa wakati huu wa COVID kutoka Ruai, Kariobangi na hivi karibuni huko Njiru wakati wananchi wengi wanaumia. Wengi wamefungiwa biashara zao na sio watu wa biashara ndogo ndogo peke yake. Hata watu wenye wamekuwa na viwanda ambao wanatoka maeneo yetu, wengine wamekuwa na biashara kubwa, zingine polisi wametumiwa, wengine wametumia maagency ya serikali kama Kenya Revenue Authority, Asset Recovery na wengine kugandamiza na kufungia watu biashara na kufuatilia kilio na hasira nyingi iliyokuwa na watu wetu tuliweza kukutana kama viongozi wiki iliyopita kama tulivyo uh, mulivyo ripoti na ndio tumeona leo ni muhimu tuwaite ili tuwapee hii uh, statement kirasmi tuambie ni kweli tulikutana viongozi karibu sitini na wawili na tukachagua kamati ambazo zitaweza kuongoza mazungumzo ya kuweza kutatua shida ambazo hasa watu wetu na nchi yetu inakumbwa nazo. Tukizingatia sana matatizo ya kiuchumi na maisha ya wananchi. Kamati tuliyochaguliwa tumeunda kamati zingine ambazo zitazingatia mambo ya uchumi, mambo ya kilimo, mambo ya maisha ya wananchi wetu na jinsi watakavyoweza kujimudu kimaisha kufuatia mkutano wa pili leo tumekutana kama kamati na wengine ambao uh, wametuweza kutumia uh, apologies ambao waweza kuweza kuungana na sisi leo lakini baadhi yao tulikuwa nao siku ya Jumanne na tumekubaliana ya kuwa yale mambo yote ambayo tunataka kuzingatia hasa ya kiuchumi tutafungua mazungumzo na naibu wa rais ambaye wakazi wengi wa maeneo ambayo tunawakilisha wanaona ndiye kiongozi peke yake ambaye wanaweza kumuamini kusukuma gurudumu za kuweza kuokoa na kufufua uchumi wa nchi yetu na kuendesha serikali kwa njia ambayo ni ya kidemokrasia na sababu tulipewa jukumu na uh, wale viongozi wenzetu tuanze kufungua mazungumzo tumesema tunataka kubadili mfumo wa mazungumzo ya uongozi na siasa wa nchi yetu Tunataka mazungumzo yawe sio mazungumzo ya kuzungumzia vyeo na viti tunataka tuanzie mazungumzo na yawe yanazingatia tabu na maisha ya mwananchi ambaye tunamwakilisha 
na huo ndio mfumo tumeweza kukubaliana na wale viongozi wengine ambao tutafuata na kufuatilia huo mfumo tumeuliza na tu already tusha uh, mwelezea naibu wa rais kupitia ofisi yake ya kuwa tungetaka tuwe na kikao na yeye sasa ili tukubaliane ule mfumo ambao tutazingatia kwa mazungumzo kati yetu kama viongozi na yeye kama kiongozi anayetafuta uongozi wa nchi yetu ili tuhakikishe ya kuwa yale matakwa yote ya wananchi wa eneo letu ama maeneo ambayo tunawakilisha na wale wananchi tunawakilisha yanazingatiwa na serikali ambayo tunaona itaweza kushika hatamu ya uongozi wa nchi yetu kufuatia uchaguzi wa mwaka mjao kwa hivyo tunataka tusisitize ya kuwa mazungumzo yetu hayatakuwa yakizingatia sana na hasa ugawi wa vyeo hata kama tutafika hapo lakini kwanza tunataka tukubaliane mambo ya mwananchi mambo ya biashara ya mwananchi mambo ya maisha ya mwananchi venye mwananchi ataweza kuwa mambo yake yamewekwa kwa meza ya uongozi hayo ndio tunataka tuzingatia kwanza tukishakubaliana hayo tutaenda kwa sehemu ya pili ambayo tumesema sehemu ya kwanza ni agenda ya uchumi na ufufuzi wa uchumi sehemu ya pili ya mazungumzo yetu itakuwa sasa ni yale ya mambo ya kisiasa na venye nchi yetu itaweza kuwa uh, ku, kuongozwa mambo ya governance ya nchi yetu kwa njia ya kidemokrasia tukiwabeba wananchi wetu wote kwa hivyo tumekubaliana hayo na hivi karibuni tutaweza kuwatangazia tukiwauliza wale wengine wenzetu professionals our religious leaders viongozi wa biashara wananchi wa kawaida wale kutoka mama mboga watu wa boda boda watu wa salon wale wasanii wote kila mtu tutakuwa na vikao za kuweza kujadiliana na watu wetu tuhakikishe ya kuwa kila kitu na maswala ya kila mtu yamebebwa kwa meza ya kutafuta uongozi na kuhakikisha ya kuwa tutazingatia mambo ya mwananchi kwanza sio ya viongozi mbele asanteni na tutaweza kuwajulisha tukipangilia hayo tumesema sababu ya covid protocols tutakuwa na ile tunaita webinar ya mambo ya kiuchumi na hayo maswala mengine yote na hayo yote tutakuwa tukiwajulisha tunapoendelea acha nimkaribishe dada yetu about political positions and that kind of stuff but like you have heard we are really just only focusing at this point and in this phase on uh, economic growth of the country on getting us back on track and once we are back on track then every Kenyan will be happy and at that point then once we have agreed on what will be the economic uh, blueprint post uh, 2022 then we would be able to determine who what where would be would we be getting what positions and who would be occupying that so for us right now we are saying like we have said in the last one year the conversation in this country is changing and it will have to change so we are no longer just talking about positions but talking about uplifting the lives of Kenyans and that can only happen if we get it right through economics thank you uh, and maybe or maybe we have seen uh, Kieleweke people criticizing us for engaging William Ruto into talks we want to tell them why are they concerned they said William Ruto will not be around in 2022 why are they concerned that we are in talks with somebody they have said will not be around we are also asking them to go and enter into talks to the candidate of choice if there is if there are candidate of choice is Raila Odinga the Kieleweke people should enter into talks with Raila Odinga and come and tell the people of Mount Kenya what they have negotiated as we are in talks with Ilem Ruto those who want to enter in talks with Gideon Moy they are free to do so but they should not be concerned about our talks with a candidate they have already said on record that he is not going to be around in 2022 why are they concerned already uh, i want to say something because we, we keep on talking about bottoms up and i think it's, it's a deal the, uh, we were talking last uh, a few weeks about the money from IMF. It has come to my knowledge that the first tranche of 25 billion shillings of the money from IMF has come in. Out of 25 billion, 60%, 15 billion has gone to pay contractor of one project. Tell me, when is the trickle down going to happen? If we take 15 billion out of 25 billion from IMF to pay a single contractor. We are aware there was some 37, 40 billion shillings on the annuity fund. I can't recall the actual figure since I was fired as a vice chair of the transport committee. But I left around that 5 billion in the annuity fund. All of it is going to pay three contractors. 
yeah, for three projects. Tell me, when is trickle down going to happen? That is why I'm saying, if we get anything from this government, it's a bonus. You have given up. These are three contracts, Chinese contractors, uh, which are building the Mau Mau Road. And Mau Mau Road is a very important uh, piece of development. And this other one, it is the one which is be, uh, being paying the contractor for the for the air, uh, Lironi, uh, the, the airport one. 15 billion single payment. This other one, that 5 billion three contractors. This government is on a scotch as policy. Wamesema ni masaya ya kufunga kazi. Yeah? Ni bei ya kufunga kazi, mutu aende nyibanda hili ya mebeba. We need to be careful. Thank you. 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 Thank